there has been a shooting in the library. I have to leave right now. Like, I need to get out of here. Tallahassee law enforcement fired more than 30 rounds, killing suspected gunman Myron May after he opened fire, shooting three people in their on-campus Strozer Library. Students still in shock. I was asleep and I woke up to the alarm going off saying dangerous situation and I was like, is this a dream? Because it's just even, it was so surreal. Very scary thing to happen because you see it on the news and everything and like the other schools and it's awful happening, but you never think it's going to like actually happen to your a Sarasota FSU student says she had to hide in a stairwell like this one when she heard a gunman was in the building. We weren't really sure if we should go down in or not because we didn't know like if there was going to be uh, like the gunman in there coming up or something. 20-year-old Jamie Pekus is an FSU sophomore who was in the library during the shooting. She says after she was safe, she called her father, and experiences like this bring families closer together. When I called him, he just, like, reassured me that he loved me and that everything, like, will be fine and just, like, get some sleep because I didn't really get any sleep last night. Pekus is happy to be coming home to the Sun Coast for Thanksgiving. She says at least for a while, things will be uneasy on campus. Be a lot more aware. I know it's going to be very nerve-wracking when I go back on campus, especially around that area for the first time. Pika says she won't walk anywhere alone and definitely won't be returning to Strozier Library anytime soon. Reporting in Sarasota, Chrissy McClarty, SNN, the Sun Coast News Network.